Hey, you ever see this $200 brick from Supreme? They slap their logos on things and celebrities pay thousands for it. Here's how this works. In 1994, James Jebbia loves the skater boy scene in New York City. Bougie boutiques, on the other hand, find it gross. So he can't find skater fashion anywhere, so James goes, screw it, and starts his own store. He even leaves the middle empty for ollies and kickflips, which is totally righteous. His weird store becomes the coolest in the city, but wait, there's a problem. Manhattan real estate is so expensive, and James can't keep inventory because it keeps selling out. So he tries only releasing new products on Thursdays, but this makes it worse. People start waiting in line for days to get his gear, which makes customers upset. So he forces people to only buy one of each item. People go nuts, then it hits him. Play hard to get on purpose. He 10Xs his prices, and that's why Supreme sold for $2 billion.